Okay, I'm going to try to do this problem and the next one quickly because I just did them and I forgot to record them. So let's say the question was calculate V2. And you know what? Let me just, this is V2. So if this is V2, this is also V2 right here. If this is V1, I call it V1 here. So if I just leave it like this, calculate V2, it's really an easy question. I can finish it in less than a minute. So let me also add to it. I want to find out also what the, I'm going to assign current. We'll call this I sub 2. And let's assign this current I sub 1. I also want to find also I sub 2. Otherwise, this is a very short problem. So we have ideal transformer. So the first thing we need to do is the ratios. The ratios of V1 to V2. I know it's N1 to N2, but is it plus or is it minus? Let's see. V1, the way it's labeled, I labeled V1 plus on the dot and V2 plus on the dot. So that's a plus. So that's N1, that's 1 to 6, the ratio, which means what? V2 equals 6 times V1. So if I want to stop here, I'm done. Why? We know what V1 is. V1 is in parallel with this source. So V1 is equal to what? 2 angle 118. That means, if I look at that, V2 is going to be 6 times this number, which is what? 12 angle 118. So if I left it like this, I'm done. So that's why I asked for I sub 2. Otherwise, it's too tiny of a problem. So what's the relationship of I sub 1 and I sub 2? I sub 1 to I sub 2. I know it's N2 to N1. But again, is it positive or is it negative? Let's see. I get I sub 1 entering the dot. I sub 2 here is not entering the dot, the other end. So that's a positive. When they both enter the dots, that's a negative. When they both leave the dots, that's negative. If one enters and one leaves the dot, then that's a plus. So in this case, it's 6 to 1. So that means what? If you clean this equation, I sub 1 is equal to 6 times I sub 2. Or, I didn't even have to do that. Maybe I'll find it, but I didn't have to do it. Because if you want to just find I sub 2 from this, what's I sub 2 is equal to? I sub 2 is equal, we know the voltage here, that's V2. We know what that impedance is. So it's V2 divided by 1.5 angle 10, which is 12118 divided by 1.5 angle 10. And that's what? 8 angle 108. The problem is not really asking for I sub 1, but since I'm having fun, let me find I sub 1. I sub 1 here is equal to 6 times I sub 2. So take this one, multiply it by 6, and that's 48 angle 108. So I found everything that I need and don't even need. I calculate everything. V2, I sub 2, I have now V1, I have I sub 1. I found them all. And that problem is done. So the next example I decide to make a little bit bigger. So there's my next example. And the question, can you calculate the average power delivered to that 20 ohm resistor? And the, oh, this is an ideal transformer, and the average power supplied by the source. Probably the easiest thing to do in this example is do source transformation here first. If you do source transformation, you will have this circuit. That's 300 angle zero. Remember, these two in parallel, you multiply them out. 60 times 5 is 300. That resistor becomes in series here.
4 to 1. And let's assign current going through that. Let's call this current I sub 1. Let's call this current I sub 2. Let me assign this one as V1. Let me assign this as V2. You can assign them any way you want to, direction-wise. Let's look at the ratios here. What's V1 to V2? V1 to V2, I know it's N1 to N2, but is it positive or negative? Let's take a look. V1, the dot is positive. V2, the dot is negative. So that's a negative. That's a negative 4 over 1 which means V1 equals negative 4 V2. That's the first equation. Uh, V1 equals negative 4 V2. Now let's look at the ratios of I sub 1 to I sub 2. Now I sub 1 is entering the dot. I sub 2 is entering the dot. That's a negative. Negative what? N2 to N1. That's a negative. What's N2 here? N2 is 1. N1 is 4. So I sub 2 is equal to negative 4 I sub 1. That's my second equation. Next, I'm going to do KVL right here. KVL 1, that's right there. 300 angle 0 equals the voltage drop here, which is 60 I sub 1 plus V1. Notice plus to minus V1 is plus. Plus to minus 20 times the current down, which is I sub 1 minus I sub 2. If I clean that one, that's 300 angle 0 equals 80 I sub 1 minus 20 I sub 2 plus V1. That's my third equation. And KVL 2, that's on the outside, that's 40 I sub 2 plus 20 times the current going up. Going up is I sub 2 minus I sub 1. Minus, notice I'm entering the minus to plus V2. Clean it. Negative 20 I sub 1 plus 60 I sub 2 minus V2 is equal to 0. And now I have four equations by four unknowns. I can do quick substitution in them to make it two by two, but really doesn't matter to me because I have a calculator that does that for me. So here's what my calculators give me for answers. V1 is equal to, as I said, I just did this problem, but then forgot to record it. V1 equals 260 volts RMS. V2, my calculator gave me negative 65 volts RMS. I sub 1 equals 0 0.25 amps RMS. Hopefully I didn't screw type in the numbers. And I sub 2, I got negative 1 amps RMS. Once I have all these numbers, once I have them, I can actually find everything that I need. If I want to find the average power delivered to that 20 ohm resistor, 
I need to know what the current coming what is this current coming down through that resistor well that current happens to be this current And this current is I sub 1 minus I sub 2. I sub 1 is what? 0.25 minus a minus, that's a plus 1. So this is 1.25 amps. So here's what I know. I have that resistor of 20 ohm. I got a current coming down of 1.25 amps. It's going to mark it plus to minus. Ohm's law says V equals I times R. That's 25 volts. So what's the average power? VRMS. IRMS. Cosine theta V minus theta I. The difference here is zero. Cosine of zero is one. So VRMS 25. IRMS is 1.25. Cosine of zero, which is one. And you end up with 31.25 watts. That's average power delivered to that 20 ohm resistor. <clears throat> Let's see how much average power supplied by the source. We know the voltage here is 25 volts. We calculated that from here. We know V1 up there, V1 is 260. So we know the voltage on the top right there, cross that 60 ohm resistor. That's 260 plus 25, which is 285. That's the same voltage right there. So the voltage right here is 285 volts, RMS. It's the 260 plus the 25. So what is the average power by the source? by the five angle zero source it's equal the RMS which is 285 times IRMS which is 5 times cosine 0 285 times the 5 which will give me 1424 25 watts and this is really supplying because you got a negative or a current entering the negative end so if you want to put a minus sign to indicate the minus again means supply where the plus sign means observed taken so that's what the minus sign tells you that source supplied 1425 watts that's how I would have done that problem hopefully that wasn't too quick but I already did it I have all the numbers, I just forgot to hit record.